yo, what's good YouTube? This is McKaysey, and today we're gonna to be reviewing Have a Nice Death. It is a new rogue light game, 2D action platformer, releasing in March. IGN just got a 15 minute gameplay. First one we're gonna be seeing, and I'm gonna be reacting to it. Reacting to it. I do have a video coming out very soon of impressions, you know, initial gameplay, early assessment, analysis, breakdown type of thing. So check that out whenever you I do post it and you see that. Um, but let's get into it. Of course, we come out of the elevator, looking all sharp. Love the animation to this. The art style is one of the biggest things that drew me in. So what's up? We got Patrick with a knife in his head. Character design is amazing in this. All hell is broken loose. We're the CEO that has that whole business vibe. Really uh, interesting, you know, combination of things. You have death and business. Um, sounds like life. Mr. CEO, exactly. There's that business aspect. But look at the design, the art, it's just amazing. Portrait of yourself over there. We got your Harriet, huh? No skin, all muscle. Probably likes to work out over there stretching. And death, we don't really say much, just a sigh. But just look at the floating animation, the idol. I just love the style. Let's iron out the kinks. So we have your double jump. So this is just a tutorial, first 15 minutes. We have our dash there, super fast. That's one thing I've uh, noticed that the game is very snappy and fast and the, the combat and action just looks great. Okay, so this is like the work on our slash. It's like a three or four piece combo there. Going through platforms, of course. This is a 2D platform side scroller. Smash up that. Hmm. Okay. So we have a hammer of some sort. Okay. So like a smash attack. Like Smash Bros. Shout out to all my Smash Bros peeps. Okay. So we have a little training area. Again, there's that combo. One, two. And then we have a smash attack at the end. I'm sure you can cancel out of that. Possibly. Oh, there's a nice move right there. Using your Fury with LT, screen turns red, super attack. Okay, we got the stars to daze, hammer attack for 15. Cannot wait to get my hands on this. So we have to release all of our energy. Huh? What is this? A bolt? Mana, max mana. So just looking up at the top left, we have Y for the hammer and X for the scythe. Wonder what other weapons we got and if we have multiple options. I have seen multiple, like there's a big blade. They have the string, scythe, can't wait for that. Let's not forget though, so far you've only trained with friends. They've gone easy on you since they owe you coffee. So from now on it's the real thing. All right, we just jump right into the action. Oh, he does talk. Give it your all, boss. I mean, this is a good looking pre alpha, though. So we have a flying spell book. Obviously, the guy with the flames on his head. Just a normal worker. Seen this part in the trailer. This is the, one of the first parts that they showed off. So we have our 1, 2, 3, 4 combo. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep. That's our basic combo. Oh, nice little touch with the hands over there. He took a little damage there. Oh, was another one. That was a nice little chunk. That smash attack though. Okay, and it's on a timer. Cool down over there if you look to the top left on the HUD. And we have this purple, is that the, is that the mana kind of building up? Okay, so this is the first little room of any you take to clear out, oh that was easy. It's gonna be a lot of dodge, duck, you know, dip, dive, dodge, weaving type of action, in and out. He's basically a ninja. He's the death ninja. The Grim Reaper himself. Is that a coffin? Not a bullet. Max life. All right, so these books take two hits. 
See, they give you enough time with the anticipation frames, with the exclamation, and you know, the anticipation frames are enough for you to be able to react, and then you come back with your own attacks. Ooh, shockwave. Okay. So you sign that to his B, okay. So maybe you just random attacks, there's probably, probably gonna be pulled like 20, 50, 100 attacks. That might be reaching a little too far, but still, you know, we can we can hope. Select next floor, okay. This definitely reminded me of two games that I am gonna talk about in my other video when I drop that. Um, art style and just vibe is Hollow Knight, and the other, you know, where we just select our path and everything, that's um, Dead Cells. You have to compare things to things we already know. That's just how humans work. I mean, two great games to compare it to as well. Anticipation frames, that's where you dodge and start hitting, you know, from the back. These big guys, oh, okay. First death, uh, they were going easy. Rest in paperwork. Got that whole business, you know. Dunder Mifflin vibe over here. So we killed 36 on that run, okay. Now we. IGN. 36, and that was very fast, so I'm gonna imagine we're gonna get into the hundreds. And this is where some people are gonna restart and just almost speed run it once they get the hang of the game. Restart, get your powers or whatever, and then just start going. Okay, we have our little book with us. Pumpkin. Pit book. Hmm. Your pit book notes everything down for you. Okay, so that's like your menu, probably your spells and everything. Just love the animation and art style. I just can't get over that. See, that's very Dead Cells that we just passed, though. It's a rogue light where you have some of your progression stays with you, but you do have to restart when you die. Just hope there's enough quantity of you know, versatility of weapons and items and attacks and enemies and just variation to have the game just very replayable. All right, we got a little menu from Joe and weapon shop. There's a spear, okay. So this is probably where you get that sickle chain, scorpion, get over here, reaper scythe, which is really the thing that drew me to this game. I like this animation too, that's dope. So here we are again. All right, now that we went through our first run, we should be a little more confident in at least these first couple of enemies and their attack patterns. That was a very nice down slash move from very high up, okay as well as the up move. I mean, you gotta dodge these attacks. They have so much anticipation for it. But they're probably doing this on purpose, just take a little damage. Obviously, they're already pros at it. Or this could be their first run through. Who knows? I'm wondering what those little, grabbing those little orbs behind doors, why isn't he doing that? The little an yellow animation there was pretty cool, whatever that was. I think that was a woman version of this guy, you know, just a basic common enemy type. Businesswoman, businessman. The Nagger's office? Okay. And of course the dope little elevator animation here. What was that to the left though? Go back. So those guys don't really stagger like the other enemies. Obviously, they're big roots. That was a nice down move. Basic combo. Whoa, what is this guy? He hung himself. Sheesh. It's like a Japanese businessman type thing. So is this a mini boss? Yeah. Maybe a real boss, who knows? The hangman. The work was too much. Shh, wiped out again. They're just dying on purpose at this point. 
So that was only 17 compared to like the 30 that we killed the first time. And whatever solar, oh, solar reading your souls. And then there's a little gold at the end, at the bottom of me. So you zap back into your office because you cannot die because you are death himself. You get a report, a business report. Just love that business vibe. I'm not a businessman like that. I'm actually a designer, so that's why I love the art so much. So all these little goodies. All right, we're just zipping through this, getting back into the action. Just, you definitely gotta just take a moment to look at all the art in the background. They just put so much effort, skill into that. The little pops of color, I, just that contrast is amazing. So you just little pops of red, little pops of purple, little pops of yellow. I'm liking those up and down smashes a lot. See, that was nice. Using the move in its frames to jump above that attack when you knew it was gonna come and just obliterate him. One thing I did read was you don't really get anything for killing those people. You do get cold and everything for killing people in the, the rooms that you're locked in. But as far as like killing people on your way to the next room, I'm wondering if there's like some type of reward that you get. Like I guess you are gaining your soul power. So I guess that could be it. But I mean, are you gaining mana or soul? See, this is in one of those rooms. You're locked in, you have to fight into our four businesswomen that are throwing fireballs. Headless ones at that. And they just keep spawning up. Man, these fireballs, you gotta dodge those. Dash. Use that dash, or does he not have it yet? That move is dope. Throwing a boomerang side. See, yeah, you clear this room, then you actually get something here. I can't really just, you know, wait to dive into this. See, they just skipped that. All those people just skipped. Sis word. Okay. Whatever that was. That's dope. Hmm. It's a lovely animation. So, of course, they're going to make it really die, you know, and every time they come back, they're going to get a little further. Just give you that little bite-sized pieces for you. A little 15 minute gameplay show off. Go back to the left though. Yeah, the move's dope. I mean, every move's gonna be dope, I assume. 55 damage, quick animation, back to the hangman. Like that character design is just dope. I noticed a lot, and I'll talk about this in my video that I'm gonna drop, the um, horizontal abilities of like almost every character are emphasized like this game is very horizontal which i love like some attacks literally go half screen very quick combat there you go he's finally you know bobbing leaving in and out you know boxing in and out in and out That is the recipe. Okay, now he's gonna beat him this time. Okay, let's see what we get after. Hangman Jimmy's off. Which I don't think that's his real name. I just made that up. Oh, okay, big, big coffin coming up. We get our souls. Let's talk to Coffin Man. Okay, so this is where you pick your three things just like Dead Cells. This, this is what reminds me of Dead Cells a lot. That and, okay, Skill Tree. Cloak of the Gods. 10 damage. Okay, so this is where our cloak starts attacking, huh? Cloak is super dope as well. Cloak and dagger style over here. Marvel shout out. Sorrow's office. This game is just dope. I, I imagine it'll be like my favorite. Okay, this is the boss that we've uh, 
Sorry, looking like Anubis over there. Which Moon Knight is coming out soon. Tying in Egyptian stuff, you know, Anubis. Moon, Moon Knight, Egyptian, Marvel God, fighter hero, anti-hero. So big Anubis jackal looking dude. That's been on steroids with red eyes and little wings. I dig it. Wolf claws from Smash Bros. And you died. Bam. So that was a little 15 minute preview from IGN and have a nice death. Cannot wait to get my hands on that. It is only coming out on PC so far, but I'm sure they're going to port it to Switch and, you know, PlayStation or Xbox. It just looks like a perfect Switch game, honestly. But no matter what, I'm getting it. And we are going to play and I'm going to stream it, record it, make more videos about it. Make sure to like and subscribe because I will be having more content out about this game specifically and other indie games and um, just smaller roguelikes, uh, action adventure, just a lot of stuff coming. You know, this is the start for me and only plan to get bigger. So appreciate you guys. Again, I'm McKaysey. You guys have a nice day. Thank you.